but you just need to rest and not cry. Hold my wipe. Hello, good morning, and what is up? I am so amped coming off of last night watching my brothers on Shark Tank. That was so incredible, so much fun. If you haven't checked out that vlog, make sure you watch it. I am a lone man in the house today because the kids are at school, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get this vlog started because I don't know when mom's gonna be able to do that. We've got some good and we've got some bad news to start off this vlog today. Mom is currently at urgent care. Pause for a dramatic effect. She is being tested for strep throat, you guys. Ryler just barely got over that. Knocked him out pretty good. He missed three days of school. He had it bad. Probably the worst of the entire thing was the strep test itself. Getting swabbed. Mom woke me up last night. I hope she doesn't mind me sharing these details, but she woke me up at 2 a.m. in the middle of the night in tears because her throat hurt so bad. She couldn't sleep. She couldn't swallow and just was not herself. So I said, first thing in the morning, get into the doctor. I'll take care of getting the kids to school, from school, anything you need. Just make sure you get and get it taken care of because the good news is that she has it early enough that if it is strep throat and she can get down the antibiotics, she is going to be perfectly healthy for Hawaii. And that is what we are focusing on this week, getting ready for, packing for, preparing for everything Hawaii because we leave in one week from the day you guys are watching this. We've put so much into this. We just want it to be perfect and amazing. And certainly we don't want anyone to be sick. So she's sick. That's the bad news. It's potentially strep. That's the really bad news. She is totally out of commission and feeling so miserable and awful. Also bad news. But the good news, the silver lining is that it is a full week of recovery ahead. Although I hate to call it a week of recovery because she is so stressed with so much to do to get ready for this trip. You guys know she takes packing and preparing to another level. We are hoping that she can get the test back. I personally hope that it's strep so she can take an antibiotic, be good in like 24 hours and get back to normal life. I told her just don't even worry about vlogging it. Don't even worry about taking the camera. You just go get the strep test. Let's find out what's going on and then we'll update you guys as soon as we know. So that's the way we're starting the day. That's how things are going this morning. So stick around, find out how mom's feeling and what's going on with her. We'll let you know as soon as we know and that should be very soon. Okay. Okay guys, I'm just gonna fill you in. I started feeling sick last night and like right before I went to bed. And so I didn't fall asleep until two o'clock in the morning. I woke Brandon up crying. <laughs> You guys, I'm a little bit weak. I was crying that I my throat hurt so bad. I couldn't get comfortable. I was cold. I was sweaty. My body hurt. This morning, I decided to run to the doctor. The doctor just came in, did my exam. Thankfully, she was very kind and she didn't make me throw up. She said she will be surprised if I don't have strep, which is just part of being exposed to Ryler. I'll let you guys know when she walks in here to see exactly if I do and if I can get on some antibiotics. I'm just praying like crazy that I have strep. So for now, I get to look beautiful. <laughs> negative but the accuracy in the first 24 hours is not the highest okay just based on your symptoms adults just don't get fevers very easily <laughs> strep is no. one exception so with your trip coming up i would suggest doing azithromycin which is a five-day treatment that would be awesome okay you guys i am just leaving she said you probably heard her strep test came back negative but adults don't generally get fevers so she said she's going to treat me anyway so i have a vacation coming up she also was very sweet and kind and put me on a five-day antibiotic rather than a 10-day I'm going to go get that right now and get it started. I'm going to take two today and then one for the next four days and hopefully that will get me feeling better. Guys, this is bad. I just really got home from the doctor. Dad is taking care of Hazy Flint and Rex and Flint. I'm going to go relax. Hopefully I can get feeling better. This is not fun. Special delivery for Mindy Bingham. Mm, right here. Catching up on Grey's Anatomy, trying to figure out how to so diagnose yourself. One, the resident. Oh, oh. Really another is it another one. medical one? Yeah, I'm hoping that I can. Trying to self diagnose here. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Uh, I'm walking around everywhere with wipes, so everything I touch, I walk around and I wipe right behind me. I don't know, have you told everybody? I don't want to make you use your, throw your voice box too much. Would you tell everybody what happened when you went to the doctor? She tested me for strep. She didn't like swab the back of my throat. Like She didn't give you the Ryler treatment? She didn't make me throw up. So. <laughs> she said my test came back negative, but usually having the symptoms for less than 12 hours. Sometimes they won't show up as a positive strep test. In fact, you had a fever so worry she her. She said adults just don't get fevers. So my fever was like almost 102. She prescribed me a Z-Pack, so I already took two of them. So I'm just hoping that by tomorrow morning I can feel better. So we told mom, today is a day in bed. Rest, stay away from everything. Yeah, don't try and do any of this stuff. <laughs> you need to put a blanket over this so you can't see it there taunting you. But you just need to rest and not cry. Hold my wipe. Love you. Quick little kiss. Not even. Definitely just stay in here. Don't let anybody come in here. Don't let anybody bug you. I'll take care of the kids. Can't make any promises on the state of the house when you come out, but I'll do my best to be out on top of it. <laughs> okay. Love you. Get some rest and we'll come check on you later. Okay. Love you.
So dad is done with work for the day. Mom is out of commission. So what does that mean for the rest of the afternoon? I'm picking up the kids from school right now. I got my breakfast doodle in the back back there. We're hanging out. Hazy is down for a nap. We're gonna just do our best to kind of stay out of her way, to let her rest, to let her get her health back because that is the most important thing. Maybe we can go to the basement. We may just stay down in the basement and watch a show. But basically, I told Mindy, I said, just consider today a loss. Like today's a loss. We chalk it up as a loss today. Don't try and get anything done. We won't try and do anything crazy because of the more rest you get today, the more able you're gonna be to recover from this and we can bust it out hard with the remaining days we have left in this week and before we head out of town. That doesn't mean we can't have some fun. We just got home with the kids from school. Brexy Doodle's turning down the lights in the theater, but I need him real quick, buddy, for the vlog. And then we'll turn them off. So we're gonna do a modified version of our homework. If you guys know, we do homework on the main level, on the couch up there in the kitchen, so you can write, read, all those nice things, but we are gonna try and stay as far away from mom as we can. One, to be safe and uncontaminated, but two, and most importantly, to give her some peace and quiet. So we're down here in the basement. We got the boys who are reading their books. They're doing some reading. We're doing a little bit of chores. Crew, I just really quickly, though, wanted to find out what is going on. Your pants are a mess. Show me your elbow. You got, what happened? I was walking with my friends talking, and then, um... Sounds pretty adventurous and dangerous so far. Walking then... with your friends and talking. <laughs> What? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, go ahead. And then there was this big rock. Well, it wasn't big. It was just like that big. And then I tripped on it and I heard a pop on my shoulder. <gasps> and then on your shoulder or your elbow? My elbow. Sorry. Okay, gotcha. I get those two mixed up. Yeah, they're both arm parts. <laughs> <laughs> so you tripped on a rock walking. Nails your elbow so hard you heard it pop. Rip the skin off where you're bleeding and covered in dirt now. You are my son. Found because... it. Let's read. We'll just hang out down here for a little bit. Kids are in there doing their homework. I'm out here reading some of the publicity and the articles being written about my brothers after their show aired on Shark Tank. It's so much fun to see what people are saying about their business, about their pitch, and about the episode in general. Super cool. Just got a text from Mindy that she could use a couple ibuprofen. So, bing bing, dad's on the case. The exchange without touching hands. Catch it. Close. How you doing? Like you Status update. It's so horrible. Hmm. I like how after a nap I feel better and I, I don't. I definitely don't. How often you take that antibiotic? Is it like a once a day, twice a day? Mm -hmm. Once a day? I took two today though. Today might be just kind of a wash, like a loss. Okay, well, I don't know if you know that I don't do very good sitting here. My butt hurts and my back hurts and I hate it. It's switched up to the couch just for a change of pace and scenery, but I'm sleeping in the basement tonight, by the way. So, oh, really? do you want me to sleep up here? I'm to wake up crying again. You guys, I woke up crying last night to Brandon. <laughs> And I was thinking it was like morning, and then she's like, I know it's two in the morning. I'm like, it's what? <laughs> and then I got crying for so long, I was like, I don't even know I'm crying. <laughs> It was an awesome night. I'm so pathetic. <laughs> I only want to cry when I'm sick. Yeah. There's your ibuprofen. What else can we get you? Anything? I'd like to feel better. Okay. Coming right up. One of the other things we want to try and do, guys, to help mom out is get this cleaned up because she is planning on working tomorrow, assuming she feels better. But as you can see, things are a little out of sorts here. We just went to the chore chart to see who's on what. Right guy's got the front room, the family room over there for his chore today. Kruby Doo's got the kitchen, but he also happens to have dishes. So the combination of dishes and kitchen might be a bit much for Crew. So we're going to probably pitch in and help him out. Rexy Doodle, would you help me with that with Crew? Yeah. Thanks, dude. Chore. Let's find out what yours is, actually. I don't know. Clean bathroom, so. Clean bathroom, so you're good. You don't have to do that. So you can help out in the kitchen. Sorry. I have to clean every single bathroom in the house and I can't be that mom in. Yeah, no chores upstairs today. We're staying away from mom. Something kind of cool as we approach this vacation, you know, we've got the packing, we've got all the things we got to do to prepare for that. But as you guys know, we're obviously going to document and vlog the heck out of this trip. That requires the right tools for the job. And you guys know that we turn to GoPro for so many things, especially when we're going to be in the water, we're going to be being adventurous, hiking, jumping off cliffs, swimming with sharks, in helicopters, all those kinds of things. So I have been getting package after package delivered to the house here of new GoPro gear. We are so stoked about this, getting all geared up so we have everything we need to make sure the GoPros float if we happen to drop them, make sure we can capture every moment of this trip and share it with you guys. And I even had this bag thrown in just for fun, this sick GoPro bag. I'm trying to decide who I should give this to. Probably not Riley though. <laughs>
beautiful you are after your nap. Who wakes up looking so good? Only princesses and hazies. Huh. Good morning. Good morning. Rocket wants to go out and play with friends. However, buddy, your chore is to clean up the foot. <gasps> what? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> He literally had no energy two minutes ago when he had to read. Now that he can go out and play with friends, he's feeling it. He's feeling I it. I think I just broke my back. <laughs> okay. Worth it. Now, Kruby do on the other hand, you got a few things to take care of, dude. I'm going to help you, though. Not leaving you on your own. This is a bit much for one, dude. If you could, please tell me this is clean so you can empty it. Yes. If you can empty this dishwasher, I'll load it with those dishes, and I will organize all this stuff around here. Should we do it? Mm -hmm. Set. Go. As you may know, when it comes to dinner time and mom is out of commission, that typically means pizza. But tonight, we had a friend come to the rescue, save us from the stereotypical dad orders pizza when mom is sick, and brought us Chick fil A, you guys. <gasps> A full spread of Chick-fil-A from our neighbor with every sauce they make, literally every sauce, fries, nuggets, and even a grilled chicken breast for dad, some soup for mom because she's not feeling good, a tall drink of her absolute favorite, and it's even diet. Look at that. Oh my gosh, she knows us so well. So guys, huge shout out to our neighbor. Thank you so much for taking care of dinner Thank tonight. Yes, that is a huge relief because with all we've been trying to do to keep mom happy, healthy, resting, and I know that mom has a lot on her mind of the things that she wishes that she could be down here doing, participating in and helping out with. And so to have a neighbor have the thoughtfulness to text her and say, you know what, I've got dinner covered. Take that off your mind. It's one thing you don't have to worry about tonight and I'll bring it over for you. And she went and got Chick-fil-A and got a little something for everybody, made sure everybody was taken care of from adults down to kids, sick, healthy alike. Thank you to our neighbor. We love you so much. Now we're gonna dive into some delicious Chick-fil-A, baby. All right, what sauces does everybody want? Right, guys? Chick-fil-A sauce, you got yours, okay? Ranch, Chick-fil-A sauce, Polynesian sauce, what do you feel like? We got a little of everything in here. Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce, oh, sweet and spicy sriracha? Good heavens, they got everything in here. Hazy girl said she wanted ranch, got a little ranch for Hazy. We'll do this one for Hazy right there. I don't want these. You don't want fries? No. Are you kidding me? Brexy Doodle, Chick-fil-A sauce for you, my man. That is my favorite, probably. And Polynesian sauce. All right, you guys got your food, got drinks. Let's yeah. get mom her soup and her drink. Oh my gosh, she's gonna love it. Here we go. Okay, Brexy Doodle's gonna come with me to deliver mom's dinner tonight. And he's gonna do a little videographer. Hazy wants to come up and say hi to mom, too. Yeah, I miss her. We can't do hugs and kisses for mommy just now, okay? Let's let her medicine be a full 24 hours. She'll blow you a kiss. These guys are missing you, mom. They haven't seen you very much all day today. Hopefully that'll taste good in your belly and I'm starving. You enjoy that? Kids are bathed, ready for bed. We're just gonna watch a little show, eat our dinner, and then get them into bed. You guys are having fun. Yep. Yeah. Love you, mommy. Love you. The night and the day has come to an end. We're just enjoying some fun dessert here. We got some delicious cinnamon sticks with icing on top. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Thank you for all the well wishes to mom on Instagram. She did post on our stories there that she was getting checked for strep and we had a flooding of support for her. So we thank you for that so much, you guys. Um, I'm sure there'll be many, many comments down below wishing her well as well. So we thank you for that. Always appreciate the love and support from you guys. As you guys know, when mom's not happy, nobody's happy. When mom's sick, the whole house just kind of feels down. So kind of a down day. I didn't even get out of my pajamas today. Just trying to be a fraction of what mom accomplishes every single day. Always eye-opening in these situations when dad has to pick up the slack and we're so grateful for mom and everything that she does. Hope that she's better tomorrow. We hope that the antibiotic will kick in. We hope that it will in fact kill the thing that is ailing her and that she can be back to feeling 80-ish percent and then we'll hope for 100 later. Rag guy getting his uh, antibiotic himself here. He's still coming fresh off the strip. One. Second one today, right? So it's two a day. So oh, and you're on your second bottle. Three bottles of this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go, Bum. There you go, Bum. Thank you. Okay, you bet. As you may have noticed, sickness has hit the house pretty good. 
good. We're hoping that it ends with mom. We don't know. As we said before, you know, we got Hawaii coming up. We want to just get the sickness out of the house, out of the home, so that everybody can be feeling good for our trip because we're super yeah. excited about that. So hopefully it ends with mom and stops there. But if not, we still have a little bit of a small window where we can get it and still beat it and still be good before we leave. A week from Tuesday, which is the day you guys are watching this, we will be on a plane on our way to the North Shore of Oahu. Cannot wait for that. Huge shout out and thank you to our neighbor for hooking us up with dinner tonight. It was delicious. Did you guys love dinner? Oh, totally. So good. I mean, it's so much better than anything I would have come up with. Chick-fil-A is one of our favorites. The nuggets were delicious. All the sauces were so fun. I found a new favorite, the sweet and spicy sriracha. I've never had that before. So I'm gonna get these kids into bed. We're gonna say goodnight for now. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining our family. Thank you for thumbs upping this video and all of the love that you show us every single day. We love having you be a part of our lives and we love being a part of yours. Come back tomorrow. It's gonna be bigger, better, and even more Bingham. We love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye everybody. Bye.